From Barbersville to Milton and all over Eastern Cabell County, there's a lot going on in the Cabell Midland School District. Our series features the stories of local business owners, difference makers, and events. I'm Brody Nash, and this is Midland Minutes. Hey, I'm here with Miss Sydney and Lynn Eplin at uh, Big Loafer at the Huntington Mall. How are y'all doing? Good. Good. Good? Thank you. Yeah, I've always enjoyed coming in here since I was a little kid because you guys opened in 1981, right? That's correct. Yeah. No November. November 10th of 1981. So, what have you seen that's uh, influenced your business? I, guess. I would say... What's influenced the business of malls now is uh, so many people are ordering off the line because they can just order it and have it delivered to the door without uh, any extra charge. And some people are just getting to where they don't want to communicate and they just like to stay home with it. Yeah. I know I've ordered off of Grubhub and then you had it brought right to me on a big loafer on a you know, Sunday afternoon. You don't want to leave after church. You don't want to leave the house and they'll bring it right there in, in your old brown bag for you. Uh, so, Lynn, um, how old were you when they made you start working here? I was 13 when the restaurant opened. And, <laughs> yeah. and you were made, you were here day yeah, one? I was, I was here yeah. day I was actually here while I was getting built. So. Nice. <laughs> you didn't help lay the concrete, did you? No, I did, not, I did not actually help build it, but I had to come up here with my dad several, several times when, while I was being built. Gotcha. And um, you guys are famous, in case, you got, in case you've never been here, they are famous for their uh, homemade bread that is amazing so tell us about the the process of that well it's made from scratch mm -hmm. every day right it's not just every day it's all day it's several times a day yeah okay. yeah uh it, you know so they mix it by hand and um and it's a yeast bread and so then when it was ready they roll it out uh, on a lot of a very flour table and um they make them like from there some making loaves and then cutting sandwiches and others are made singular you know, like the pizza rolls and pepperoni rolls are round but the Italian loaves and, and big loafers are made in a loaf and then cut into sandwiches. They're at about what like three or four foot I saw <laughs> on the tray right the, the Italian is that about right? I mean, it's, Maybe it's, about yeah, three. Yeah. And how many do you get out of that? Five. Five out of a, Five out of a loaf, 15 out of a tray. My favorite thing here is the pepperoni roll. Pepperoni rolls were invented in West Virginia, in case you didn't know that. It's an Appalachian tradition uh, back in the 1920s, I think, 27 or something like that. First pepperoni roll, rolls in West Virginia. Uh, but, I mean, I've had a lot of pepperoni rolls, and theirs is, is absolutely top of the line. Um, it's just bread, cheese, and pepperoni, right? Can't beat that. <laughs> Can't beat ours. This is not a health food store. <laughs> now, we have soup that's not fattening. Uh, Chili's okay. good for you. I don't know. chili. It's not interested in that kind of stuff, but some some, some of y'all might be interested in the healthy soup. Vegetarian soup. <laughs> do you do a vegetarian soup? Do a vegetarian they, got, they got a vegetarian option. Uh, they've got crinkle cut fries that are good. My kids love the crinkle cut fries and the cheese sandwich and the um, pig and blanket. There's been a lot of children raised on big loaf of cheese sandwiches. <laughs> sure. Uh, they're they're fantastic. Uh, simple though, bread and cheese, right? Yep. I mean, you can't mess that up. It's, yeah. I assume you know pretty much how to do every job back there if you have to. I, I do not know how to make the dough, and I've never rolled out the dough. Really? Right. I saw you running the register early, so yeah. you can just jump in there and fill in if you need to. Pretty much everything else I can do. But I can't. I, I do not actually make the sandwiches. I don't know that anybody would want to make something, uh, eat <laughs> something good. that I made. So. Yeah, probably me, not, me either. Here, my mom used to work at Lazarus when I was growing up, uh, which is Macy's now. But you guys had the oil painting looking pictures on the wall of the little the guy the big loafer guy <laughs> what we called him different poses and i was just fascinated by that do you, st <laughs> you still have those paintings somewhere yes i do, do you? yes cool. i do they're not hanging in your living room are they definitely not <laughs> uh, in your living room no they're, someone they're, asked they're my daughter storage room in her house that uh, they're they're a little they're a little rough they're right. showing their age. those are classics though they are classics <laughs> Um, one of my favorite things that they have is a two-for-one special. It starts, <laughs> what, half hour before close? Yes. Every day. So if you get here at 8.30 on the dot, you get the best selection. It's whatever they've got left. <laughs> yep. Sometimes there's a pile this high of stuff. Sometimes there's only like two sandwiches left. It's just potluck. But uh, so come in. The hardest thing to know is how much to make of each sandwich a day. We don't know. We make a set amount to start with and then make more throughout the day. But some days the Italian loaf might be the best seller and you run out at 7 o'clock. Some days you have 
12 Italian loaves at 8.30. You just, you just right. never know, and it's the hardest thing to predict, and people get upset sometimes when we run out of what they want at 7 o'clock, but also we can't start making sandwiches again right. two hours yeah, before we close. It's a balancing act there. It's a balance, and it's <clears throat> probably the most difficult thing to have to deal with. But you probably can know historically what you're going to sell most of and what days are busy. So what do you? What is your best seller? Pepperoni roll is yeah. the best seller. Really? Yeah. Not surprising. Um, now the the big loafer name came from a sandwich that you guys sell, right? Called mm -hmm. the big loafer. Yeah. And I didn't even know this until I started researching for talking to, the, to them. But the big loafer is a meatloaf sandwich. I've never had it. I hear it's amazing though. It's got what? Meatloaf, onions, ketchup. Mustard? Right? Well, everything else, coleslaw, onions, mustard, and ketchup, but that's optional. A lot of people will eat it like a hamburger and we'll get like lettuce, mustard, ketchup, pickles, and onions kind of stuff, but it's really good that way too. You get the cheese on it. Or you can get it the that's traditional way, like mom just described, with slaw, onions, mustard, and ketchup. Gotcha. Might have to try that. Well, I also have a sweet tooth, so one of my favorite things in the world, and I try to stay away from them, is you're all cinnamon roll. <laughs> and they always ask you when you come in, you order them, do you want it warm or not? And that's a silly question, right? If you're well, doesn't want to, if you're well, going to take it, it here, home, right? Yeah. Exactly. I guess if you're going to take it home, you don't want it warm. <coughs> if a warm cinnamon roll from here, it's amazing. You got to try it. Highly recommend it. So, anything else we know, need to know about you guys or your business? Just the you know, God has blessed this restaurant. We, you yeah. know, we put him first, yeah. and think that uh, you know he's kept us open these 38 years and blessed us beyond measure. Yeah. It's been an honor to try to represent him as a business person. Amen. Yeah, so thank you all for taking the time to, thank you. to meet with me today and we're gonna we're gonna go try some of those sandwiches we just talked about. <laughs> <laughs> we, we keep Amen. a bottle we up from one we of the it. registers and you know it's 99 people out of 100 are always positive about seeing that representative. Yeah. You probably do find a, a person occasionally there's, wants to there's, say something there's about one, it, There's one here and there that's like, I'm not coming here because of that. There's like, plenty of other options here. Sorry you feel that way. Right. Plenty of other places to eat. Or right. consent in to replace that person. <laughs> well, they're the one that needs to hear it, though, is the thing. They're the yeah, one that's, that's there for it. It's not the 99 that wanted. It's the one that, that it's offensive to that's the reason that it should be there. I, think. I keep tracks out, too, that yeah, ask, would you like to know God personally? Yeah. And we put out upper rooms. Well, you'll never know until, until you get to heaven who that, if that affected somebody and who, you, you know, it could, you're just planting seeds, right? It's not our job to, nope. to harvest them necessarily. We're so just I, planting the seeds. That's right.